Hey guys, it's me Desiree Marie and I'm back here today to do another video just for you. Now this video is recommended, requested from one of my subscribers who just recently asked me the question, how was the process of you getting the apartment that you're in right now? The process. When I saw that question, I started laughing to myself because the process was a whole lot. <laughs> I don't think that I can possibly put it all in one video. I might do a few, <laughs> I might do a few videos um, just to really get out everything that um, I went through and that I can recommend and teach to you in the meantime, in the process, because it's just so much. So the process of, of getting this apartment was not just a cookie cutter process. And I do think that this video will be helpful to a lot of my subbies that are looking to move and they're, they're, they're wanting to make that next step in their life, but they're just unsure how. I know when I was on the other end of um, getting, on, I, was, I was trying to learn all that I could all of the things that I needed to know in order to make this step forward. I was going through the internet like crazy, like that's one of the ways that I research. <laughs> I Google and I go on YouTube and I get testimonies from the people that I know. Well, I want to help you in that same way if you're looking for information and someone else's experiences as far as moving. So if you're interested in learning the process and all that I had to do in order to get to the place that I am, Stay tuned. Okay, so when I was still living at home with my parents, I had the, the desire to move. Um, like you probably saw in another previous video, I really believed in my heart that I, it was meant for me to move and the timing, um, I, I wasn't sure of the timing, but I knew in my heart that I needed to move and I had that desire. So the first thing that I did was do research and I asked my mom a ton of questions. I researched, researched, researched like crazy. Um, I have never rented anywhere before. So it was just a really new experience to me. I wanted to know all that I would need in order to make that step forward. One website that I enjoy very much, even right now, even though I'm, I have already moved out is um, apartment no no not apartments my first apartment.com um, and they are amazing that website is amazing it's a wealth of knowledge everything that you need to know from A to Z you can get it right there I was going on that website a lot I was reading a lot of blogs a lot of testimonials and stuff like that and so while I was getting this desire to move I started doing research and then I started setting goals. I realized that in order to move, of course, I needed to save. So that's the very first thing that I had to do was save. I had to be intentional about saving. Saving, saving everything. Like, of course, paying myself a little bit and also paying my bills and whatever needed to be done. But the bulk of my paycheck went into savings. I didn't just save 10% of my check. I saved maybe about 75% of my check every month and I just put it into savings and I said to myself, I'm not touching the savings. I'm not doing anything with those savings. Only if it's an emergency will I go into savings. But for now, I just want to save as much as I could. I saw online um, one, one blog said that in order to move in New York City, you need at least $5,000 um, for moving costs. Now, I think that's that's a pretty reasonable amount, but if you can, go a little higher. Like, keep saving. Save at least for a year and a half and see how much money that you have saved. And also, um, as you're saving, make sure that the income that you are receiving is enough to um, rent in whatever that you want to rent in so the first step is saving the next step is doing your research doing more research like you're going to go on different websites you're going to check out listings and see get an, get an idea of how much it is to rent the type of bedroom <laughs> 
<laughs> apartment issues, right? <laughs> so you're going to do your research yet again. You're going to go on different listings, check out how much it is in order to rent what you want. So of course you're going to have to ask yourself, what do I want? What kind of bedroom do I what bedroom apartment do I want? Do I want a studio? Do I want a bedroom? One bedroom apartment? Do I want a two bedroom apartment? Do I want to rent a home, a townhouse? What do I want? You have to make that decision as to what you want. For me, I I created a vision board in the beginning of the year and um, in the beginning of 2015 and I just pretty much cut and pasted a lot of things that I wanted to do. One of the things that I wanted to do was move. Um, while I was getting the desire to move, I had to put that plan on paper and I had to set a date to that. Guys, unless you set a date to something that you're planning for, it's not it's not a real plan so in order for you to say okay I want to move you have to put it on paper so one thing that I did in in conjunction with researching was I wrote everything down I said okay um, I'm making this amount of money right now and I want to save this amount of money every month if I do this over the span of say 12 months Plus, here's how much money I will have. This is just goal setting right now. It doesn't have to be specific, but this is goal setting um, as far as what you want to save and um, yeah, save moving ahead. So what I did was I said, okay, this is the amount I'm making and this is the amount that I want to save. And it took me many tries. Like I didn't just get it on the first try. I was going through like so many like papers writing these things down in order to get my brain intact and, and understanding what it is that I wanted to do. That helped me to understand the season, at least the season that I was working with as far as when I wanted to move. Um, initially I wanted to move in March, but I did move in May and that's only two months difference. Of course you're not going to hit it right on target, but you want to know at least the season that you are willing to move and as that time comes a little closer, um, you start to be more specific as to what month. And then when you finally understand where you want to live and, um, and you, you, you buckle down on an apartment, okay, here's when I want to move. While I was you know, thinking about moving, I was doing my research, I was adding up my numbers, I was trying to figure out what it is that um, I wanted. I, for me, I, it was very, very important for me to find a one bedroom apartment that I would not have to share. I don't, I, like personally, I do not care to have a roommate. I do not care to share an apartment with anybody. So it was very important for me to find a place for me where I knew that I can grow. Also a place where I knew that I can live with my pets. So if you have pets, do take that into consideration because not everyone um, is willing to accept pets. So yeah, it's just a whole lot of um, information that you need to know. But just starting off, do your research. And um, I, what I did was I went on sites like Trulia.com, um, Apartments.com. I went on sites like, uh, I avoided Craigslist because Craigslist is kind of iffy. Hotpads.com, uh, Citypads.com. And I just familiarized myself with the look of the website, what it, you know, what my area had to offer, the place that I wanted to live, um, and see, and just compare prices and understand how much I wanted to spend on rent, how much was too much, and how much was just enough to pay rent. Um, and on these sites, they already have it where you can check off, okay, I have pets, I want a one bedroom apartment and any other amenities that you're looking for like uh, like say you want a dishwasher or you want a pool like you can check off all of those things so that's the process um, in researching and while researching you will come to understand what you want you won't quite know exactly what you want right away but as you do your research and you see different things you'll kind of understand what you want and um, have a more solid idea of where you want to go. After I understood exactly what I wanted, and um, I said, okay, I want a one bedroom apartment, 
um, maybe a studio, but nothing where I'm sharing anything with anyone. And I want an apartment that accepts pets. Um, once I set that in my mind in the location that I wanted to move, I then started to zone in closer on the options that I enjoyed on the websites. I looked at the rooms, um, did the, the, the visual online tours, looked at the pictures, compared pictures, and then I finally said, you know what, I'm going to go on a tour and just see, just see, just step out and see what there is out there. Of course, I'm not in the position to move right away, but I do want to see what is out there and I want to gain confidence while talking to different realtors and landlords. So I didn't have enough money starting off. Um, I was still saving in the very beginning. Of course, I was in no position to pack up my bags and leave. But I did make a few appointments where I wanted to familiarize myself with the apartments. So I went on one tour and this tour was out in Brooklyn. And I went out there just to see what the place looked like. I already saw the pictures, but I wanted to have a good idea because sometimes you can see pictures and the pictures will be completely different from what it is that is in person. Um, sometimes online you'll see that people will post pictures of a similar apartment but when you see the apartment it's not exactly the same so i wanted to step and see and gain confidence talking to realtors and landlords so i went out to brooklyn and i saw this apartment and it was beautiful i have to say it was a very nice looking apartment but one thing that the website does not tell you like these um online apartment funding websites they don't exactly show you the neighborhood. They don't let you know, okay, here's what the name like outside and the neighborhood looks like. Those are things that you have to do on your own. You have to do that research. You have to be in that place and see what the neighborhood is like throughout the day and at night so that you know, okay, I can be safe here or I just I'm not feeling this vibe here. So the time that I got out there, it was probably about 3 p.m. on a Sunday and it was kind of sketchy to be honest it was a little sketchy um but i still swallowed the bullet and i said okay I'm, I'm still going to see what it is that i've come all the way out here for and i still went for the tour and um at that time i don't think that the landlord was available but the super was the one that opened the door and let me see and the apartment was actually still under construct under construction um they were still doing things within the apartment and um so i saw all of the things you know the the you know, ladders and, and constructions and, and it, it just was not finished the apartments were not finished so i got a good idea even though i made up in my mind like i don't i don't like this place too much and it is a bit far from where i work um, even though I knew that was not the place for me, I left with a great sense of satisfaction knowing, okay, I made it all this way. I was able to ask the questions that I wanted to ask. I was able to see what it looked like in person, um, scrutinize and look at different things and see, um, like just take mental note on what I would like in, a, in my apartment, even if it's not this one. So I would recommend that as soon as you understand exactly what you want or have an idea to go out on at least a few tours, like step out and try it out and see. I do recommend you going with someone as well. It's good. I, I think it's best that you go on these tours with someone else. You don't want to go by yourself if you're a young woman. But if you are confident enough to do that by yourself, hey, try it out. Do it it's all right yeah the, the reason why I say that is because some questions you may not exactly know to ask but that person will pick it up and you know ask for you and also pick up on things that maybe you don't you're blind to like you're excited to just see the apartment but they might be more keen to the things that matter very much and um, can pick the brain of the landlord or whoever it is that's showing you the apartment so I did a few of these. I stepped out, I looked at an apartment. I also even considered purchasing um, a co-op, which is not exactly like, you're not exactly, it's not like buying a house, it's a little different. But I did consider uh, co-op, I did consider condos, I did consider home buying, I considered all of those options. Um, but I think I will let you know in a different video 
the differences and how I kind of sorted through. But for now, the first step is to research. When you are thinking about moving, research. Do your research, go online, see these places in person, ask around, um, ask the neighbors how they enjoy the neighborhood. You wanna get a full feel. You won't find all of that out online, believe me. You want to see this in person, you wanna hang out, see what it's like, see what the day-to-day -day life is like, and um, and also see the apartment as well. And um, you know, you wanna step out, like I just keep saying, stepping out and finding out and not being afraid to ask questions, speak up and ask questions. I will also let you know the questions that I asked that gave me a successful um, apartment showing that um, I, feel, I felt very confident that this was mine. <laughs> so I will let you know the questions that I asked in another video, but hopefully this video helped you very much. I have another one coming, of course. I got you girls, I got you guys. Um, I'm going to let you know the next steps that I took in order to get the place that I'm in right now. The place that I'm excited to be in. My first place that I, I finally, like I have a great sense of independence. I feel like a full-fledged out adult. It's a great experience. It's great, but you always have to start somewhere. So start off by researching, start off by seeing what you want, even write it down in a journal, make a vision board, be super extra, it's okay. This is your vision, you wanna own it, okay? So yes guys, I hope that was very informational and helpful to you. And thumbs up if you like this video. Let me know if you have any questions down below so that I can answer them in a future video. Or we can just get on with them in the comments section. So yes, leave your comments down below and subscribe to know more about my journey in purchasing, no, not purchasing, renting this apartment. And yes guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.